hair belt beard. Oh. This is kind of where I was. I didn't get a chance to talk to any of you people. Many people visit the ethos to get help. But it's safe as us you town. Right, of course. From a stern doctrine. No. No, no, no. I don't like the sound of that at all. I can't see the artwork. Although that does look a little bit like an onk to me. I'm on top of your table. Does that piss anybody off? Apparently not. Huh? What? You don't care? Sweet. So it's back in here. Only other door I haven't been in on this floor? Oh. Oh, it's a confessional. No. Don't want anything to do with that. I'm good, actually. So I want to go up this side. Let's go up the stairs. See if there's anything we can't find up here. Just, just the one door. Okay. Why hasn't Ali gotten this yet? Oh, because there's more doors. Sweet. What's up? Plundered by war and salvagers. Destruction by the reapers. We must meet the people's expectations toward the ethos. Of course you must. Reapers are humans turned into things by God to pay for their crimes. Sweet. They're sealed in the cursed land of the heavens. Shavat. Wait, the reapers are... The monsters operate the flying saucer? That doesn't make sense. They say Babel Tower is connected to Shavat. The exit is under close watch by our people. In spite of that, cursed reapers continue to appear in this land. That's why the Eton are here to eliminate them. Of course. Of course the place is, is cursed. And yes, now. What? What's going on here? The swords and shields of the ethos. Right. Yes, we only save people that agree with us. Of course. Right. From the sacred scripts to return to a pure soul. Because nobody knows anything like unlike people 2,000 years ago. They knew what was going on. Aha, you! Ask Billy if his dad holds a grudge against the ethos or not. They say his father bombed the ethos of I don't. Ow, my head hurts. Why does Jesse attack the ethos buildings? I heard he was once an amazing Eton. Um, okay. Last door. What's in here? Um, oh, I found kids. This room was prepared for people who have no one to turn to. We hope to save their souls and give them hope to live. Someone from the ethos got in a huge gear and saved me. Some man named Master attacked us. It was very frightening. Everyone dead. Awesome. So, you just go around telling people, everybody dead. Yes, that's all you do. Sit in the corner all day and be a buzzkill. That's awesome. How do I get that job? You know, people just walk up to me when I'm at home or, or at work or on the street or whatever. And they're like, hey, what's up? Everyone died. Okay. Now, Ellie should be getting us... There we go. How's Faye doing? It looks like he's going to be alright. Let's go to the infirmary! Can we just go? No, I have to actually walk us down there. Uh, I don't know if I can remember where it was. It was here? I think it was here. His treatment is finished! Obviously, because he's awake. No, he did not. But there's no need to worry. When he recovers physically, he'll also regain consciousness. You can take him to your ship now, because we want nothing more to do with him. I did my job as a clergyman. Man? You're wearing purple. Whatever. Where is Billy? I'd like to thank him. Brother Billy. He went back to the orphanage. He was worried about the children left behind. 
We are in Billy's debt. We should go thank him. First, let's take Faye to the Yggdrasil. We can go thank him afterwards. We have to get on the Yggdrasil to get to the orphanage. Bart. Whatever. Can I just... Oh, no, we're already on the Yggdrasil. I was going to sling him over my shoulder. Faye, I'm sorry. And, and that's it. That's it. Uh, no. Okay, whatever. Faye, you're right, aren't you? Oh, I'm so happy. It's wonderful to be a nurse. No, no, it's not. Who do you want to weigh? What? Oh, okay. Uh, sure. Good, perfect weight. Oh, I thought you were going to give me pounds or something. Satan. Good, perfect weight. Uh, Bart. Good, perfect weight. I don't... I, I don't know what that's about. Um, but there you go. You, you can weigh people at the nurse's station. Wow. Whatever. So let's, let's head back to the orphanage. And hopefully we can talk to Billy there. And it's not going to be too bad. You know, he's not going to be like... Oh, first, before you can talk to me, you must go do all these item fetch quests. Ah, damn it. I'm relieved to hear that. It seems the orphanage is located... Yeah, it was there. Shall we launch the Yggdrasil? Yes, let's go. Alright, so now it's back to where we were. So, you don't have to get the stuff that I got the first time that we went, but if you do... You know, it makes this this next session a little bit sh shorter. Uh, there's, see, look, there's a tower right there. I can't, you know, pan up to take a look at it, but it's still there. How can you say it was destroyed? Oh, this thing. Okay. I forget exactly what this thing is called, but I do not like it. Uh, because you know, oh, it's the death size size. I don't know why they call it death size because it doesn't like have like an instant death attack as far as I can tell. But usually only uh, Bart and uh, Rico can do any damage to it regularly, unless you do the death blows, and then you can start getting some damage done. Uh, so usually three level ones is enough to take it out. It looks very evil, but like I said, you know, it just, it does, it does a good amount of damage, but I don't care about damage, really. Because I can always heal up in the Yggdrasil as soon as the battle's over. We get scales for it, which can be sold. Um, I forget for how much G... whatever. Onto the orphanage! Because the last place we were was n nearly depressing enough. We must go visit the orphans. I think that's it for... Yeah, we saw this last part. Yeah, I think that's it for the new enemies on the ocean, as far as I can tell. I don't know if it's the entire ocean or just this region, but that's pretty much it. Once we get on shore, though, apparently I wasn't on shore enough, it's just a quick journey back to the orphanage. There's not... There, there are new enemies here, but they're not tough at all. And they're all character-sized. Oh, damn it. Missed the girl. I'll get her one of these days. Let's go back inside. Got you. I'm working out in case we have a crisis, so don't bother me. Okay. What's up, kid? Can't see the flying saucer today. Oh. Want to know about the flying saucer? Then just ask me. What do you know? About 50 years ago. Holy crap, I, I didn't even get a chance to read all that, let alone say it. Uh, wow. Real disappearances did happen. Oh, I forgot to mention, the Sasa was called Shabbat. There are even people who worship it. Um, 
No, because I have no idea what the hell you said. Maybe, well, you know. Thanks to the magic of YouTube, I might be able to decipher it eventually. This thing is very creaky. Whatever. Let's go back into the orphanage then. Talk to Billy. Oh, wait, this guy does not have the speech impediment. How is Faye doing? Very well. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but he should come around soon. That's good to hear. I don't know how quite to thank you for helping Faye. Don't mention it. I'm a priest. We may believe in different gods, but none of us can leave people in need. Do we believe in different gods? I don't even know. Surprise, there are only children. My sister and I haven't had parents since we were infants. So I opened an orphanage to show kids without anyone would ha wouldn't have to go through what we did. They're all healthy and obedient to the teachings of the ethos. They're all good kids who even help me with work. This sounds like an awful place, actually. Belly Shirt Man comes in. But It just those radars picked up an image of, of a huge ship. What? Gebler again? I don't know. But it's moving at 